Hi everyone, it's Bridget with Bees Altered Designs. I am so excited about this project. Um, this was, and I posted a before picture um, right before the video started on this, what it looked like before. Actually, it has the gesso on it, but before that it just looked like wood. And I had found this um, probably at a rummage sale, but it is a hanging shadow box. You see the little... Um, the things to hang it and this um, it's t-shaped I know it's so big it can't fit in this the whole screen and I have it all the my camera all the way up so I'm probably just gonna move my camera down so I can zoom in on certain spots I just wanted to show the whole thing so okay that's not how I want to move my camera down just bear with me for a minute I want you guys to be able to see this this thing is so super cute I just love it anyways okay so, um, what I did was I gessoed it, obviously, and then I painted it with some paint that matched this paper. And this paper happens to be um, the Prima Something Blue Collection. And I also used, um, I started out, I wanted to use the Graphic 45 Botanical Tea. I know I mixed these two papers together. And if you look at the two papers in person, they're nothing alike, nothing at all alike, but they mixed, certain parts of the papers mixed together very well. So I wanted to use this, but I only have this size, the 8x8, and you see how big this is, and I really needed 12x12 sheets to um, do this. So I used that, and I, I, so I mixed both the papers. This bottom piece all the way around is actually the Prima paper. And then like this tea party here and some paper under here and I believe these little cards and the little stamps that I have are Prima, are from the Botanical Collection. So anyway, so then I papered it and the papers that are inside are from the Prima. And I had the spoon in my stash so I put a... Um, a cameo here and then I used, uh, what did I use? I used these. I like, these are like my favorite inks. These chalk inks. I just love these. And I went and bought um, this this stuff, the Recollections Milk Paint. Eh, I'm not really, you know, you know I have a craft shed, so I'm not near a sink. So I actually used my um, Beauty um, Melter to warm up some water so that I can mix the paints because the paint actually it has to be mixed with warm water and I don't know I'm not maybe I didn't make it thick enough but I wasn't too you know I kind of dabbled the paint like on all these flowers um, if you can see that I kind of put the paint on the flowers um, and then kind of on the edges and then I used my chalk inks to go around the edges also and then what I did was I had this trim in my stash and I put that here and you'll see in the pictures that um, when it's standing up you'll be able to see that a lot it looks so much prettier then and this is some flat back pearl string I had in my stash and then let's start up here at the very top at the very top these are all flowers from Julie's store which is craft supplies one and they're silk flowers and I just made a beautiful arrangement right here and I have a prima butterfly there and I used a stencil to put this on different places of the teapot and then in here I kinda made a little scene with a bird and this is actually um, Spanish moss that I had gotten down in Georgia when we went down the last time yes I brought a bunch home and thank God there was no chiggers or whatever you guys call them in my car I mean none that I was aware of but I washed this really good and then I sprayed it with um, this white Huey spray. I mean, I washed it. It was already dry before I did this. And then I sprayed it with this and um, kind of made it a little lighter than it was. And then uh, once again, I used some of Julie's um, flowers. These are her parchment paper flowers. And these are some sprays that she has in her store. Um, let me see if I can find them. They're hanging right here. And they actually look like this. Um, I, br I cut them apart and used them, um, but they're like sprays like this. So I had just cut mine apart so I could use just the um, 
these. You can also take um, pearls of your own and just wrap it with um, wire to get the same effect, but um, that's what I did. And I had this bird in my stash. And then over here, I'm going to raise this up because this thing is super cute. I got this in the Christmas section at Michael's the other day um, when I went shopping. And it's so cute. It's a little pale. And there's a little handle here. Um, and all I did was I used the milk paint, the pink, and the gesso. And I just kind of dabbed it on the, the actual... Um, pale and then I filled it with the Spanish moss and then I had these little Easter eggs in my stash so I just sprayed it with that Mr. Huey white spray to get it speckled and that's her little eggs and I just put them in that that little basket and then over here I have one of these um, light bulbs and I believe those are Prima too yeah the junkyard finds so I put one here it says create and then here I have a mix of flowers um, most of them are um, well there's, um, I can't really say which ones are Wild Orchid Craft and which ones are I Am Roses because I take all my stuff out of the packages and put them in bags, so, and then hang them, so I'm not really sure, but there's a mixture. There's a tulip here and some other flowers. This is an actual, um, silk flower that you get off of, uh, uh, you know, like those flower bushes that you buy in the store, like when you're going to do an arrangement. So I put that there, and then this is, I believe this is Prima this um, flower right here and then I have some rosebuds and a couple other flowers there's a wood clock piece here and this is a butterfly from Renee's boutique I just love her butterflies they are so pretty so then down on the bottom I collect miniature tea sets like this I have a whole cabinet filled oh my gosh they're so cute one day I will do a video on my little miniature tea sets because they're all different and I decided to use one of those for this project because I just, I thought it would, I don't know, it just, it just, whatever. <laughs> so anyways, so this is the tea set and I glued it all down. I glued the tops onto these and I had this spoon in my stash and I glued that on and there's a little acrylic piece on the bottom of the spoon. And then this is just a bouquet of flowers that I created um, to put inside that little pitcher. And then again, I stenciled here. And then I have just a couple of the daisies and a few of the, the little stamps from the Botanical Garden um, collection. And then over here, I made my own little resin pieces. Um, this is my little resin mold thing with my letters on it. And it says tea time. And then I put this little um, charm that I had in my stash of a teapot. And I'll just... Oh, and then this butterfly is another Renee Boutique's butterfly. But that's what it looks like. So I'll just zoom around here real quick just so you can see it. I just think this came out so, so adorable. I just love it and I can't wait to hang it on the wall. Um, but anyway, so that's um, a project that I did. And I thank you all for watching and have a great day.